welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Meg and today we're reviewing some of the products from the Uma Beauty collection at Walmart. I'm sure a lot of you have seen over the last week a lot of sponsored videos for the Uma Beauty makeup products that are over at Walmart and I was like okay I'm definitely interested in checking this out and it's the first time in such a long time I had any interest in you know actually picking up products that I saw featured in a video so I picked up three products from the collection my Walmart was pretty picked over so I feel very lucky and fortunate to get the products that I did the first thing I got is the cleanser I have not used this yet I will be using it later tonight um, so I was excited to get this it retails for just under $15 and it's supposed to be clean and have a lot of really good ingredients in it and not a lot of filler ingredients so let's look into the Au Naturel cleanser it retails for $14.98 and it is supposed to be a non stripping super gentle cleansing oil wash away even the toughest waterproof makeup effortlessly with no greasy residue a clean super lightweight blend of natural oils transform into a milky emulsion that acts like a magnet to effortlessly and effectively remove makeup and impurities leaving your skin feeling soft clean and smooth and what i like when i'm looking at the list of ingredients is that there's not 50 ingredients listed so i'm very interested to see how this works i'll be sure to give a little update in the comment section how this removes makeup so i'm really intrigued by that I also picked up the vitamin C serum and this is the supernatural glow I picked up the 10% because I'm very sensitive my skin is and while I didn't use it today before I did my makeup I did use it twice yesterday and I really liked it a lot like a little goes a long way which is fantastic because you're getting so much for your money it's not like you're having to use a lot of product and then you feel like you didn't get that many uses out of it and you already need to buy it again so the 10% retails for $17.98 and I was really interested in this because skincare stuff can be super expensive, especially if it has good ingredients. So I was like, okay, this is a little bit more on the affordable side. And because my skin is so sensitive, I literally just use face wash and an eye cream and eye retinol under eye retinol and a moisturizer. And that's my skincare routine. So I was like, let me just try adding this in and see how it goes so this is a uh, the 10 percent vitamin c vitamin b3 vitamin e and vitamin pp <laughs> and it says that it's made for all skin types apply on clean skin allow to fully absorb before moisturizing use morning and evening so i use it twice yesterday and for me it's a real telltale sign if i use skincare and it breaks me out immediately and this didn't do that like Obviously you can't see right now because I'm wearing makeup, but it looks like I may get a couple breakouts right here, but I'm gonna use this product for a couple of weeks to truly see how my skin reacts to it. So the last thing I got is a foundation and I don't like whenever I'm reviewing products and I see them in other videos, I'll like look to see to check it out to see what the vibe of it is if I'm interested. And if I am, I don't really pay super close attention to other people's reviews because I don't want it to cloud my judgment. But apparently there's a couple different formulas in this and it wasn't really made clear by the display at Walmart. Like I said, it was very picked through. So I didn't have very many choices with this, but I got the Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation in the shade fair lady t1 it's like the teensiest bit darker as you will see and it retails for $14.98 which is a pretty good price for a drugstore foundation so now i'm going to open to the part of the video where i'm actually going to demo this apply it and then i'll be checking in throughout the day to let you know how it wears all right so i have my eyes done whenever i'm doing bright colorful looks i like to do my eyes first and to get things started i'm going to use my milk hydro grip primer because that is what i always use for foundation um i heard that this works best with an oil based primer and this is no oil it's silicone so i guess we'll see how this works together hopefully it does i just have moisturizer on as a base for me 
I, uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, I used it yesterday twice and it seemed to work really great with my skin. It's just the only thing that I noticed is wearing it and then putting moisturizer on top of it and wearing it throughout the day. I just felt like my skin, like I didn't need as much moisturizer, but I also felt like my skin got a little... Like it was just very shiny. So I want to see how this foundation truly wears. Now that we have the primer on, this is the foundation. Um, now it's looking a little bit dark, but when I was in the store, like it looked like it kind of matched my tan. Um, so we'll see how this works. It just says that on here it's medium. Ooh, is this glass? Um, it just says on here that it's medium to full coverage, available in six unique formulas, infused with green coffee extract, specifically formulated for fair skin, which I have like pale to fair skin um, in the summer when I do get a little bit tan. This is a vegan product. It also says that this is long lasting, transfer proof with the soft, radiant, natural finish. The skin perfecting balm is supercharged with skincare ingredients to cater your specific skin needs, making it the perfect makeup skincare hybrid. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and just, I like to pump straight out onto my face and I like to use a sponge. I know people were using uh, their fingers. Okay, it's maybe a shade too dark for me. Uh, I should have gone with the other one. Oh well, uh, we will make it work. I'm surprised for this being like a skin balm, a skin tint. How much coverage off the bat that it has. And that was hardly any product that came out. So I'm impressed with that. So I'm pretty impressed with the coverage on this. Obviously I need to add some more right here, but it is a really nice finish. I'm just gonna really have to like blend this down to my chest, but I'm actually not mad that I got this shade because I'm trying to build my tan. So eventually this foundation will match me. Cool, so now I know to like not use that much on this side. And I also like to concentrate most product where I have the most redness and then blend it out from there. This also blends out pretty easily. I feel like my forehead is looking the slightest bit patchy and uneven, so I'm gonna dot a little bit more on. And then the true test will be my nose because most products look like crap on my nose. <laughs> Oh my God, am I like ever not gonna have dog hair on my freaking beauty blender? I remove one hair and another one pops up. I'm really interested to see how this wears throughout the day. Um, and I don't even know, like, should I set it with the powder? I didn't watch everyone else's videos in depth because I like to form my own opinion. And I feel like once you start watching people's reviews, their opinions get kind of stuck in your head a little bit but I'm pretty impressed. I feel like it's like the slightest, I have freaking animal hair, why? I just cleaned my beauty blender, but it's like it rolled around a dog hair. <laughs> anyway, um, I feel like I have the slightest bit of patchiness, but I'm like really nitpicking here. Like, so you can just see right here, this is my problem area and I'm not super concerned about that because I'm putting concealer on, so I'm like, I'm using my shape tape, uh, the hydrating shape tape. So I know like my concealer is gonna cover that up, but I like that you can still have like your freckles and stuff peeking through, but it does look like I'm wearing foundation because I did build it up quite a bit. So I'm interested to wear this again and do a lighter coverage of it, but it looks really nice. Like it feels like I don't really have makeup on and it feels like I don't even really need to set it, but I need to blend down to my neck. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply other products and be back to show you what it looks like. All right, so I have the foundation on. It's actually been a couple of hours since I finished the rest of my makeup. It's probably been about five hours now since I've had the foundation on. 
And I'm not gonna lie, after I finished applying it, it was looking a little bit cakey, it was looking a little bit dry, but I was like, let me give this a chance to actually wear and like warm up to my face and see how I feel after a couple of hours. So it was also looking the tiniest bit patchy on my forehead. Um, I kind of went over that when applying it, it was looking a little bit uneven and products were like not wanting to mesh well with it anyways. This Rare Beauty highlight did like, it didn't want to mesh with the foundation serum. In general, I noticed it has like a little bit difficulty like working well with other products and other foundations. I have a hard time getting it to blend and look more flawless and seamless. It's always very noticeable. So I want to say it's more the highlighter than it was the foundation. I did lightly apply powder to set it and it felt like a mistake because that's where it really started to look heavy and cakey on my skin. So I'm going to wear this again and not set it and see how it does throughout the day. And once I started stacking other products like the setting powder, the powder bronzer, the powder highlighter, it started like not looking the great. It was a little bit patchy. It just looked very dry on my face. Overall, I do feel like there is a nice natural finish. Like I said, my nose is always itchy when I'm wearing makeup and that's exactly what I do. So, and I still feel like it looks a little bit patchy. Like there's like foundation here and then it looks like more red through here and then there's like patches of it. So I feel like it just was patchy on my forehead. But I'll have to check back tomorrow when I wear it in a light, a lot lighter fashion. So I will have to update you tomorrow, but this is what it's looking like about five hours into wear. It's looking pretty good, honestly. For this skin perfecting foundation, the best way I have found after having this for a couple of days is that I like to work section by section and I do the tiniest little dots because this foundation, in my opinion, it has a pretty quick dry time. Like you gotta get to blending or else it won't really move. I tried putting it on my face and letting it sit for a minute because sometimes I like to see how the products react when it warms up to my skin and it was just not wanting to blend out. So for me, working section, section by section allows me to get a pretty good coverage and control the coverage that I'm getting. And using the tiny little dots helps it spread easier versus putting one big dot and then trying to spread that to the rest of my face. This is just the application that personally has worked best for me. I also have not used powder on my face today for the first time and I really like how the foundation is sitting and lasting. It's holding up pretty well. I feel like I have a really decent coverage. I feel like it wears really well throughout the day. I also didn't use any cream products on top of the foundation today and I feel like I don't have any hints of patchiness whatsoever. All right y'all, I've had this foundation on for nine hours now and it just feels like it's just like ready to come off. It doesn't feel super heavy, but I'm definitely aware that I'm wearing makeup. Um, but I feel like it lasted really well throughout the day. Like I just felt like I didn't have anything on my face and it was just a very comfortable wear. You know, sometimes after you wear foundation, especially ones that are like serum or balms or BB creams, after about three or four hours, you're like, I feel like I have a goopy mess on my face and it needs to come off. Like I didn't feel like that at all. Um, I also feel like I didn't necessarily have to set it. I am looking pretty shiny, but I'm not mad at that. Uh, it's mostly my forehead because like over here, I'm very, very matte still. So it's just kind of, it's literally just my forehead, but I did have to put a lot on my forehead. I'm really impressed with the foundation and so far I really like the vitamin C serum and now I get to test out this cleanser and I'm super excited to do so. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for my Uma Beauty at Walmart video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if anything from the collection caught your eye or if you picked it up and tried it yourself, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.